The most fun part of having an online store is getting paid, right? So let's talk about how to make that happen with WooCommerce. WooCommerce doesn't process money itself. It connects to a payment gateway. So a payment method is how the customer pays. A payment gateway is a tool that connects your WooCommerce store to your customer's bank account or credit card so you can safely accept online payments. It's kind of like a digital cashier. It securely takes your customer's payment info, processes it, and then deposits it into your business bank account. I'm gonna break down what each payment gateway does, the pros and cons, and which one makes the most sense for what you're selling. Once you've picked the one you want to use, drop it in the comments below and I will either link you to a tutorial I already made showing you how to set it up or make a new one for you. But first, let's quickly go over how to take offline payments. After you sign into your website, go to WooCommerce and then Settings and then click the Payments tab up top. And then we're going to click Take Offline Payments down there. And now here are the offline payment methods that come default with WooCommerce. We have bank transfer, check payments, and cash on delivery. With all of these, you can click any of these buttons to enable them. And then when you do, a lot of them will have other options where you can put in uh, instructions or description. So after you hit enable, it will be replaced by a manage button. And when you click that, it will bring you into here and specifically like for the direct bank transfer, you're going to want to put in your account details. So you would be able to do that down here. Now let's click this arrow to go back and we'll talk about the payment gateways. Click the back arrow one more time. And the first payment gateway option we have is Woo Payments. And this is the official WooCommerce payment gateway. It's powered by Stripe and it is built directly into WooCommerce. You can accept credit card, debit cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and more without ever leaving your dashboard. The pros are it's built in WooCommerce, so there's a really easy setup. It accepts all major credit cards and wallets, and it works directly from your WordPress dashboard. The cons are it's not available in every country, and it is less customizable than using Stripe directly. So WooPayments is going to be great if you are looking for easy. Next, we have PayPal. And PayPal is probably the most well-known online payment brand. It lets customers pay using their PayPal balance, credit cards, or their connected bank accounts. The pros are it's super familiar and trusted by customers. You can accept payments without needing a credit card. It's great for international buyers, and it works with WooCommerce right away. The cons are there can be higher fees than other options. It may direct customers off your website and it can be buggy or inconsistent with disputes or refunds. So PayPal is going to be great if trust is the most important thing for you. Now let's click in to other payment options. Now for any of these, we're going to have to install an additional plugin to use them. But we have here my favorite one, which is Stripe. And I'm all, I almost always use Stripe. So Stripe is one of the most powerful and flexible payment gateways for developers. It supports credit cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, subscriptions, and more. Pros are it's got a clean, modern dashboard. It has global support, including multi-currency. There's advanced features for developers, and you get fast and reliable payouts. The cons are it can be intimidating for beginners, and they may not approve high-risk businesses. So Stripe is going to be great for you if you want a lot of power and freedom and control. Next, we have Square, and Square is really great for businesses that sell online and in person. If you already use Square as a physical POS system, it's going to be really easy to sync it with WooCommerce. So the pros are, obviously, it syncs in-person and online sales. There is flat rate, transparent pricing, and it's really easy to set up if you're already using the Square POS. The cons are it's not as feature rich online as something like Stripe. WooCommerce integration is decent, but not perfect. And it's really not ideal for digital only businesses. So you probably want to use Square. Obviously, if you have an in-person store that's already using Square and you want your website and your in-person store connected. Next, we have Airwallex payments. Now, Airwallex is a newer gateway that's focused on global businesses especially those dealing with multiple currencies and countries. Think borderless payments and low FX rates. 
So the pros are it's great for international businesses. It has low foreign exchange rates and it supports multi-currency and local payment methods. The cons are it's not as beginner friendly. It's less common, so there's fewer tutorials and support, and it may require more setup and verification. Now, if you want to use a payment gateway I haven't talked about, you can click this link down here that says more payment options, and then you will see those additional payment options that are available with WooCommerce. And like I said earlier, if you guys want a tutorial on any of these, just let me know in the comments below and I'll get it done. Now, if you don't have a payment gateway set up yet, but you still want to test your checkout and your payment process, you can do that with one of the offline payment methods. So let's go ahead and click back into offline payments. And then we'll just go ahead and enable cash on delivery. And then we're going to view my store and click add to cart, then view the cart, proceed to the checkout. And then we'll choose one of the offline payment methods here. And then I'm just going to put a bunch of random details in the billing and the shipping information and then press this place order button. And then we will get the confirmation page. So we'll be able to test and see what the customer sees. And then we can go back into the dashboard. And when we do that, we can go into WooCommerce and orders. And we are going to see that test order right here. And that's it. Now you know all about how payment methods and payment gateways work with WooCommerce. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to check out my description below for your free download of my nine step website roadmap, which will take you through everything you need to do to get your website live from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.